Okay, hello everyone. It's time for uh, Indian food extravaganza. Um, if anyone saw my unboxing video from yesterday or the day before, um, this was sent to me all the way from India. I did a candy swap with the Check It Out channel. Well, I'll put a link to their channel in the description. Um, and I thought I'd just do a video trying most of it in one go rather than just reviewing each thing individually. Which is not really my style of thing, doing one thing at a time. Just try it all at once. Um, some of the things I'm going to leave for separate reviews, like the tea and um, there's some things in here that aren't edible, like pens. Lovely as they are, I can't eat those things. Uh, so, let's get started. Oh, also, I didn't know what this was, but um, people in the comment section got to the bottom of things really quickly and identified it as a, um, a Star Wars Death Star ice cube maker. But um, I haven't had time to make the ice, or I, actually I just forgot and I wanted to record the video and didn't want to wait any longer to make some ice cubes. So um, the Check It Out channel has a video of this being made into an ice cube. So go check out their channel and search Star Wars Ice Cube or something. Yeah, alright. So these were the things that were sent. Quite a lot, well, there's quite a few things in here that are just like things that are sold in England or things that I thought were just English products to begin with. So, um, I'm going to try them just to see if they taste any different coming from India. They might be maybe being manufactured in India, they have different ingredients and things, who knows? But, um, and uh, yeah, I'm keeping the spicy things to the end because if they're really spicy, they're going to affect the way I taste the things, the like sweet things and stuff. So. First things first, we've got Haldriam's Nagpur Taste of Tradition Indian Snacks Soya Sticks Chapata Masala And these are tapioca starch um, Got chilli powder in them But I don't think they're going to be crazy spicy They've got loads of nice sounding like spices and things in there you want to read it? Just pause the pause the video. I can't remember reading it all out. Um, yeah, made in Nag Nagpur, I guess is where it's made. Yeah, Nagpur, India. All right, let's try that. Oh, they smell. You know, it smells like pot noodle. When you open a box of pot noodle and smell it, or like uh, it smells a bit like egg as well. I'm gonna have to give it a go. I said on my old boxing videos that these look like ch like ch little uh, churros. Hmm. They taste really eggy. Like that's a taste that I'm not used to in snacks over here. Like it tastes like an omelette almost. I don't know if it's got egg in it. Doesn't say anything about egg. <laughs> that's worrying. Mm, I don't know. Dried mango powder, that's a weird ingredient. Mm. Maybe tapioca starch, soya flowers, maybe split pulse herd flour. Taste of egg, I don't know. It doesn't have it in the ingredients, but it does taste like. Yeah, it's got an eggy taste, but um, it's quite nice. Quite nice, check it out. And um, yeah, spices are nice, kind of a Bombay mix type of taste. Spicy and. Spicy. Um, a bit paprika taste, I don't even think it's got paprika in. Cumin powder, maybe that's what I'm tasting. Yeah, yeah that's uh, that's tasty that is. 
Yeah, it does smell a bit like pot noodle though, like um, the beef and tomato pot noodle. Nice, I like that. It's a shame to open these because they're not going to keep very long. Now here's another one from Haldrium's Nagpur. It's uh, Indian snacks all in one. And this does mix of all fried Indian delicacies. So it's like a mix of them. It's got a bit of that stuff in there. Soya sticks. But um, a load of stuff. Peanuts and things. It looks like a Bombay mix. no angles to get this on um, yeah it's got like I guess peanuts or cashews or something in there yeah and then like um, little flat bits hold on where I can't find one the bits there's bits in there that look like lentils there's bits that look like rice krispies like little fried bits of rice so popped rice um, there's these little things which you get in a Bombay mix there's this, whatever the hell that is that looks like a crushed peanut yeah, it's hard to show all the little bits because there's they're, they're tiny basically there's like a little <laughs> That's like that looks like a little lentil or something. I don't know. It's like a little little seed. Yeah. If you've ever had a Bombay mix in this in in the UK, that's what that is basically. That tastes exactly like a Bombay mix, spicy and. And tasty, and nice. Yeah, it's, it's actually quite spicy. That it's got a kick to it. Nice that. But yeah, Bombay mix. <laughs> Alright, this one looks weird. The Nabati cheese wafer. I'm gonna get a plate to open these over just to so it's a uh, cheese flavored wafer biscuits from rye cheese and it's got this guy on the front almost an Indian chef excellence I've been watching the Ashens channel and these has a lot of chef excellent products on there and it seems like it's been crushed quite a lot in the uh, in transport for all the way from India. So uh, I'm probably gonna yeah I'm gonna have to open this over a bowl. But interesting to taste. The only wafer biscuits we have over here are sweet, and they're pink in colour. Yeah, it's it's completely crushed to dust. <laughs> it's not survived at all. Oh wait, hold on, there's a bit, a bit further down. Okay. So it survived. Yeah, it's it was just crushed on the ends. It, yeah. Okay, let's have a go. Okay, that did not taste how I expected. It's not like a savoury cheese thing. It's a, it's basically sweet, which is not a, a taste like a sweet biscuit with a cheese taste to it. Almost more like a cheesecake than a like I was expecting it to taste like processed cheese or something. But no, it's actually like a sweet sweet biscuit, almost like a pink wafer, but with cheese in it, and smells like cheese.
and really creamy as well. It's nice that. I'm not sure everyone would like it, but um, I think it's nice. Let's try this sesame sesame seed thing. It's called Till Chicky. Kamal brand Till Chicky. Yeah, we have these over here. I think if it's the same thing I've had, it's it's sesame seeds pressed in like honey or sugar or something. And we've got a, I think Mr. There's a, Mr. Tom's that do peanut brittle, and I think they do a, do a variety of this as well. So uh, packaging's a bit hard to get into though. This is well sealed. It's like it's like vacuum packed or something. Let's try a little bit. Mm. Tastes a lot more toasted than ones I've tried from this country. I don't know whether that's just the brand. It reminds me of when I get cereal from Aldi. For some reason, when I get a cereal, like um, Aldi's Honey Nut Corn Flakes always taste a bit burnt tasting, a bit more roasted than other cereals. And that's what that's what this taste reminds me of. But, yeah. Nice, if you like sesame seeds, that's always nice. I love things like that, I love peanut brittle and sesame seed things and all that. Okay, this one was the one I wanted to try. Uh, do I save it for a video on its own? No, I'll just try it now. Sweet betel nut pieces. Crane, taste of India, sweet betel nut pieces. I was thinking about doing this on a separate video, but no, I'll try it here. Crane, betel nut powder works. A premium product. Got beet nut pieces, vegetable oil, natural spices, menthol. Clove oil, saccharin. Chewing of betel nut pieces in, is injur injurious to health. Okay, so apparently it's bad for your health to chew this stuff, which is good. Let's have a go. Oh, it's the smell of it. I'm sure this stuff gives you it has like an effect to it. Like, I'm gonna look it up actually. I, sh I should have done this before starting the video. Oh, that's got almost like a. It's, it's, it does smell really mentholy, but um, I don't know. It, it's almost like opening a packet of tobacco or something. It's got that sort of smell of something for grown ups, you know what I mean? Like, not like sweets, it's like. Whew, like a mature, like rich smell. And inside there's. You can see it's. Those little bits, I guess that's the beetle nut. I don't know if you're meant to swallow beetle nut. Hold on. I'm going to Google whilst chewing. Oh, I'll look up on my phone. This is the other thing that was sent. I was like a, a ring. I couldn't work out what it was. It's a phone cover, phone bumper. That looks cool, that's staying on my phone that is. That's not just there for the video. Oh God, I can't use this fucking thing. Okay, Google. Can I swallow beetle nut? Let's have a look. Can I swallow? Anyone here? 
spat out after swallowing juices gives a strong buzz. Try not to swallow much beetle nut. It can cause an upset stomach. Ugh. All right, I'll go over the flavour then. You can taste the menthol, and then it has got like a a bitter tobacco-y taste underneath it, and gives it like a tingly sensation in the mouth. I don't know if that's the menthol or the beetle nut. And it's got some other like sort of spicy tastes in there. Not spicy like a chili, but more like um more like a herby taste actually like a basil or something but actually yeah uh, quite interesting i don't know where uh, i can't really see up any much on the internet about whether to swallow spit or swallow After chewing, it either spat out or spat out. It's, to be honest, it's, got, it's crushed up so much in my mouth now that I don't even know if I can uh, spit it out. I'll swallow it. What's the worst that could happen? I'll wash it down with a bit of orange juice. <laughs> Tea bags, I'll save them. More tea bags I'm saving for a separate video. Okay, happy dent. Happy dent white. Oh, my head feels a bit funny after that beetle nut. Got a bit of a, I suddenly had a bit of a, um, a dizzy feeling in my head. <laughs> I don't know if that's the beetle nut. It just feels like my face has warmed up. I'm sure I chewed it in the past. I'm sure I used to have powder and then, yeah, I used to chew it with lime powder or something. But um, it never really seemed to be much good. Okay, so inside there's a another bit of packaging. And it says not to be sold without outer cover. So there's one packet inside another packet. And then inside that there's your usual bit of gum. Mm hmm Yep. Mint flavour functional gum. Oh, it's got Ayurved Ayurvedic medicine in it. Proprietary Ayurvedic medicine. Neem Sattva. Is that is that the same as what they make neem oil out of? Because I've heard that stuff's poisonous, but they in in India they use it in load of like medicine and hair products. I mean, that's just what I've heard already reading on the internet. I could be completely false, but I've heard there's some people that are really crazy about neem oil over there. Baking soda. Pudina. Pudina sattva and pudina, pudina tail. I wonder if that's. I don't know. A Nilgiri tail. That's interesting. I don't know much about Ayurvedic medicine. And it's really big in India. Um, but, um, since watching some of your videos, I actually watched some videos on Ayurvedic medicine and stuff, just because I was interested to see what it was about. But um, I didn't know they just put it into like products like this, whether it's like a yeah, mm, mint flavor functional comb. I don't know. Doesn't tell you what function it's supposed to have. One functional gum free with this pack. Oh wait. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. One one functional one functional gum free with this pack. Limited offer. Oh, you get one free. Okay, I thought maybe there was one in there that was functional. I didn't get the rating. Okay, I get it. 
Taste wise, it tastes like any gum. But now I'm immortal. Amazing. I'm gonna have to stick this gum. <laughs> Here's some more gum. But two cardamom. I seem to remember I've got two cardamom gums in here. Cinnamon. I'm sure there was another cardamom one. Yeah. So you've sent me three brands of gum here. It's gonna be a long video this. I'm I'm not even halfway through and it's 20 minutes in. I'm gonna try this. It's um high tie gum. Cinnamon flavour, hard to focus on for cameras. High tie. That looks more like a Chinese thing there, that, that sort of symbol with the two dogs. Or two lions or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing much on the outside. Oh, it's made in China. Okay, I thought it, were, it looked Chinese. See, see, I recognise things. I recognise things that are from third places and things. Okay, oh, I forgot to sort the packaging. It's got one of them round it and then. Wow, wow. That tastes really good. That's really like cinnamony tasting. If you like cinnamon, that is, that'd be good. If you don't, it's one of them flavours, isn't it? Oh, God. Mmm, that's delicious, that's that gum. That is way more more cinnamon tasting than other gums. I've tried like aniseed gums and things and they don't have this much flavour to them. But sadly I haven't got an, I haven't got time to sit here and see how long the flavour lasts for so I spit that off out off camera. Let's try the other high tie. It's high tie that I try the other high tie. Okay, there's the other one. This is the cardamom flavour, which is a. Uh, from what I've seen of the check out videos, cardamom seems to be quite a popular flavour over there in India, even though this is made in China. Maybe it's made for that market. And, um,. Yeah, we don't get so much cardamom flavour things over here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Not much to say. It's um it's the same as the cinnamon one really tasty like loads of flavour in it and um taste cardamomy which is um quite a herby taste I don't know I'm kinda of conscious of all like the mouth noises I'm making so I'm not gonna chew them too long <laughs> Let's try the other cardamom flavour. This is from Bartuk and I really like the packaging on there. It reminds me of old like cassette tapes or something or VHS tapes for some reason. It's made in Saudi Arabia this one. Look at that. Good. Let's see. Let's see how this one tastes. Cinnamon one was the best so far. I'm trying to remind, remember, I'm trying to think what the cardamom taste reminds me of. Maybe it is just cardamoms, but um, there's something else that I've tasted. It, I don't know, it's like a herby taste, but I don't know what the taste reminds me of really. So that's the thing inside. It's got the Bar Two logo on. Smells strong as well. All this gum seems really strongly flavoured. 
like over here all you get is like when you get gum like this it's always mint flavoured you never get like different interesting flavours Trying to chew quietly. I'm a noisy eater. Mm. That hasn't got as much flavour as the other one, I don't think. Still nice, but um, yeah, same as the last, but not not as much flavour. Okay. All right. What else? Here we go. Lots of coffee bites. Focus, please. It's rich coffee, creamy toffee. Where's it made? Sugar board confectionery. It's made in India, by the. Lottie Indian Company or something. Hmm. Okay, let's try this out. So I'll see if there's anything else on the packaging, but it's I mean it's all really tiny writing, maybe you wouldn't be able to focus the camera on it, I don't think. There's not much else on there, it's just ingredients and things. Let's give it a go, let's give it a go. How do you get into this stuff? <laughs> okay, here we go. There we sort of thin looking toffees. Nice. Yeah, really um got a nice coffee taste there actually. Very strong coffee taste. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Good flavour. So so far Indian sweets seem to have a lot of flavour in them. I don't know, maybe more so than British sweets. Maybe that's just my imagination, but I don't know. Okay, Nestle. <laughs> Nestle. Nestle kill babies. If you don't believe me, go Google it. Alright, it's Nestle Milky Bar Chew. I don't think we have these over here. We've got Milky Bars, but I've never seen this Chew product. But I, um, I don't buy Nestle products, so... Um, Maybe they do sell them, but I, I just sort of ignore them when they're on the shelf anyway. Um, let's have a look. I don't know, can't see any other information on it. The, the manufactured by Nestle India Limited Kono Circus, so it's made in a circus, okay. Not much more information on there, but uh, yeah, you can see here. Definitely says it's made in a circus. <laughs> Very interesting. And there it is. It looks like a chomp or um, a fudge. We have chocolate or fudge in the UK. I don't know if they have them in other countries. It looks like one of them, or a fudge finger or something, like a, a thin one. A bit orangey coloured inside. Um, doesn't taste like what I remember Milky Bars to taste like, which is really creamy rich chocolate, white chocolate. It tastes more like a, a cheap fudge with a, maybe a slight sort of strawberry flavour to it. 
Um, it's okay that it's not, it's not, it's not amazing. <laughs> it's not like the other stuff, the gum and things. Um, yeah. Oh, it's an orange flavour. Yeah, I thought it had a... Even the orange flavour is... Yeah, it's not a very strong orange flavour. But strange to mix Milky Bar with orange. That's uh, a combination I've never heard of. Okay, this is the Jolly Rancher lollipop. But with the interest in Indian promo. Wanna meet Samana? I probably would. Yeah, she looks nice. Looks like a nice person. I don't know who it is. My uh, experience, the only my only knowledge of Indian television is um I think there's Indian uh, it's like it's like India's got talent. Or maybe it's Indian X Factor, it's one of these sort of shows. I think it's India's Got Talent. And um, they got this fat woman who's like the presenter. She plays like a, the presenter who gets up on stage and she's trying to constantly flirt with the uh, male contestants all the time, which is kind of amusing. So, yeah, I've been trying to find this information about meeting. Meeting Tamana. Uh, I can't really see. To participate, oh, you've got to get an IR code and log on. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to be doing that. Anyway, let's try it out. I don't think there's any more promo stuff inside. Also it says get the IR code, but there's no actual code, like, isn't IR code one of them squares that you scan? There doesn't seem to actually be one on the packaging, so... Who knows? Anyway, you can smell the apple on that already. Uh, green apple flavour. Mmm. That tastes like a green apple Johnny Rancher. But I've never seen them in lollipop form before. But not much to say about it. Still pretty interesting. Charlie Rancher lollipops. Alright, Cadbury 5 star. I don't know what this is. The packaging looks like a crunchy. Cadbury's crunchy. But it's called 5 star and it's a lot thinner. And uh, it could have been just crushed in the mail though. It seems pretty, pretty malformed. Let's have a look. Lose yourself in lummy, yummy layer, chocolatey layers of five star. That doesn't give a lot, a lot of information. Cool, store in a cool, hygienic, and dry place. I was going to put mine in the toilet until I read that. Contains added flavour, natural, and nature identical. I don't know what the difference between natural and nature identical is, but it sounds interesting. And artificial, in brackets, five star flavouring. Mm. Okay, trying to see where it's made. I think it's India. By the looks of it. The packaging. I'm guessing the chocolate's changed because from what I've seen of the Check It Out videos, chocolate products don't fare very well in India, so it's kind of stuck quite off, stuck quite badly in the package. No, I think it's just like a dark sort of toffee fudge inside. It tastes like it, I've had them chocolates called re Reason. Reason the chocolate chew. It tastes like that. Almost like a treacle toffee inside. But not as hard. I remember Reasons being like break your jaw trying to chew them. But um, 
yeah, it tastes like that. Quite nice, that. Yeah, pretty decent. I don't know why they needed all these extra flavours in there, because... Uh, I thought maybe there'd be like a, a fruit flavour or some weird flavour in it. Seems that it was the artificial five star flavour. But yeah, uh, I'm trying to compare these things to stuff that I've tried over here. That tastes like Reason the Chocolate Chew. Which I remember in the 90s I had a really stupid advert for them. Okay. Namkeen Mung Dal. What is it? Nobody knows. He's got his ingredients are green gram dal. Still no idea. Salt and citric acid and vegetable oil. So it seems pretty uh, normal. It's mm. I think moon dal is the is the flavour though, rather than the product. And namkeen is the product. So. I don't know. Green gram dal. Who knows? Because there's other flavours. Hot and spicy. Aloo. Aloo bouja. That's like potatoes, isn't it? Or spinach. I can't remember. No, it's, it's potatoes. Sargaloo, spinach and potatoes. Sal Alu Bougie, I don't know what that is. Bougie Sev. I can't read it. Oh, Bougie. I'm probably saying these words horribly wrong. I apologise to any Indian people watching. Kato Mitha and Hot and Spicy. Alright, anyway, let's try this. Bloody hell, 36 minutes this video's been going. Still more to come. They look almost like little, little tiny Rice Krispies, but not quite. Let's get that, get the camera to focus on that, that pile of deliciousness, or little tiny sweet corns or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah let's try. Hmm. At first it just tastes like um, ready salted crisps, like just salty salted crisps, like um, maybe like them french fry ones, like that sort of texture, but then after it it sort of changes to like a Bombay mix, sort of the, the lentil things in the Bombay mix, like, yeah. Like a red, it's like a salt and ready salted Bombay mix instead of a spicy one. Still don't know what green gram dal is. I'm guessing it's some kind of little green or something like a rice that fries up nicely. Uh, pretty nice that. That's pretty good. Alright, dairy milk chocolate, this is something we definitely have in this country. <laughs> but I'm guessing this one is made in in India. Oh, and someone on that video said it they were all out of date, the things I was looking at, but like this one says um I don't know, the tenth of twenty fifteen. But I think that's when it's when it was made. That says PKD, I'm guessing that's packaged. Which is strange because over here we have like used by date and uh, and all the ones I've seen, some of them have a used by date, but most of them have this packaged on date. Maybe they just trust people to use their own common sense rather than religiously throwing away food on the used by date, even if it's completely fine, which a lot of people over here do and waste a lot of food. I mean, I've got a big bag of Skittles in the back that went out of date in September last year, and I'm still eating them. Mm, pretty fine. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to see. It doesn't say where it's been made. I'm trying to see if it is an Indian-made product. Manufactured by Mondelez, Mondelez Indian Food. 
Mumbai. Okay, so it's been made in Mumbai, apparently, I think. Let's see if Mumbai made Cadbury's taste any different to UK Cadbury's. I can't really remember because it's been a while since I've had any. Oh, look, look, uh, the pieces are shaped differently. They're like thinner and they've got a, a dip. Almost like that shoe people chocolate you can you get. Mm. I don't think that tastes as good. I'm 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 not saying that just to be like snobby about English chocolate, I promise. But um you know, or to be down on Indian chocolates or anything. But um that's, I'd, I'd have to have a piece of Cadbury's dairy milk from England to, next to it to try but um, it doesn't seem to have as rich a flavour uh, I don't know if that's just my imagination maybe I'm just being uh, being racist in my mind and, and taste it differently but um, <laughs> racist about Indian chocolate I don't know yeah not terrible but um Definitely tastes different, I'd say. Also, um, yeah, the heat, heat in India. Maybe it's manufactured to survive the heat of Indian weather. If you watch the Check It Out channel, you'll see almost every chocolate product he gets from overseas is like half melted when he opens it. So maybe that's why. It, but it, it's quite nice. It's it, but it doesn't taste right somehow. Probably just because I'm used to the chocolate over here, the Cadbury's. Alright, let's try a Kit Kat. Kit Kats aren't very tasty to begin with. They're okay, but I mean, they're just thin chocolate with a load of wafer in the middle. It's hard to get that wrong, really. I said in my unboxing video, it's kind of strange to have a one finger Kit Kat when the whole selling point is to have two fingers or four if you're having a big, big, massive one. But then, as somebody pointed out, uh, we've got Kit Kat Chunky and they're one fingers Kit Kats, but they're, they are actually massive, so I guess that makes up for it. Anyway. Yeah, that tastes pretty much exactly the same. Same as Kit Kat over here. No different. It's hard to get a Kit Kat wrong. It's the it's the wafer taste more than anything else. Pretty nice. <coughs> a Nestle Munch. And that, the, the packaging looks like a chomp over here, which I don't know if it's made by Nestle or not, the chomps, but um, they're like a toffee, just to toffee to covered in chocolate, so I don't know about this. Doesn't say what it is. Let's have a look, let's have a go. Oh, oh no, it's a biscuit broken off inside, or a wafer or something. Oh, it's a wafer. It's a flattened Kit Kat, basically. It's like a, a long, flat, wide Kit Kat. Okay. <coughs> yeah, we don't have them over here, I don't think. I've never tried anything like that. Alright, here's another one from that Lotte company. The um, the coffee ones were nice, so here's Caramilk. Let's see if there's any more information. The rich taste of real milk. Oh, that sounds nice, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no info. No, no more info on there. 
best before 18 months from manufacture when stored in cool dry conditions okay yeah so it's, again it's only got the manufactured on date so Yeah, maybe the weather is why they can't have a best before date. Maybe maybe the weather conditions are so hot that it affects things and you know. I don't I don't know if that's right, but I can imagine over here if 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 it said best before like April twenty sixteen but it was so hot that like it melted chocolate and made it go bad before that date, then a lot of people would take it back and just say, this is bad before the sell by date. Anyway, here we go, it's another one of them toffees. Now it's got a... It's got a slightly roasted taste to it again. I like the sesame seeds. I was expecting like a really milky taste, but it's like a... It's got like almost... It's almost like the coffee bite. Like a roasted flavour. But without the coffee taste. Maybe like the froth off a cappuccino or something like... Heated up milk. For some reason I was expecting it to taste like a milk bottle. Sweet. But um, still nice, but not uh, not what I expected. Okay, so I've got two empty packets of uh, Tic Tacs in the bottom of this bag. One's orange and one's mango, because they broke open on shipping. But which is which? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh God, they're all over my floor now anyway. Okay, so yeah, they're all the same colour. There's no way of telling them apart. <coughs> so I'm going to just try a few and see if I can guess which one's orange and which one's mango. Mm, I think that one was mango. That was nice, whatever it was. No, that one was mango. That is very nice, that. Oh, yeah. Mm. The orange ones just remind me of the orange ones over here, where you get a lime and an orange in the pack, and the orange and green. But the mango one, I don't think we've got mango ones here. We've got banana ones. Um, I'm not very up-to-date on Tic Tacs. But, um, I've never seen mango flavour here, but they would probably go down well because they're really nice. That was an orange. That was another orange. I think maybe the mango ones are slightly darker. Like I'm guessing this one's a mango. It doesn't look like it on camera, but it's slightly darker. Yeah, they're nice, the mango ones. Tastes like mango, surprisingly. All right, this one. Love it. Love it, caramelicious. Where's it? How long is this video? Almost an hour long. Oh my god. Nougatine caramel. Manufactured 2015. I'm trying to see where it's made. DK. I don't know what that means. I can't understand the, the instructions. I mean the, the writing on here. It's completely flattened. I'm guessing that happened in shipping, who knows. Really soft. 
that's caramelicious, that is. Hmm. That's nice, that's um some other chocolate and that tastes richer than the dairy milk chocolate. I don't know if that's the caramel inside making it taste more rich or something. I don't know. Alright, here's another thing that's really common in the UK, polos. But if these are Indian made polos, maybe they'll taste different, so I'll try them. Nestle Indian New Delhi. Let's have a go. Never seen polos in little tiny packets like this. Okay. Pretty standard. Maybe they seem more chalky than normal, but that could just be because they're being crushed a bit in transit. And also the I haven't had polos in a while, so I don't know. But the out, but the, I mean, the shape's the same, but the printing, the way the look polo is printed on, looks slightly different. I don't know. I don't know if polos look like that nowadays or not. Hmm. Yeah, again, I don't know if it's just my imagination. I'd have to have another one, an English one, side by side to compare. But it seems different. The texture when you crunch them up, seem they seem coarser, and the mint flavour is seems more of a. Um, we used to do polos over here that had like blue speckles in them and they were a different flavour and I can't remember what flavour they were but it tastes more like that that kind of mint than polo normal polo mints. Well, I can't remember whether they were spearmint or something like that. Like the mint flavour tastes slightly different. Mm. It's not bad tasting, just different. Uh, okay, what else have we got? I think these are the last two sweet things here. Chose Cara, which is a. I'm sure this is some kind of health thing. I remember reading this. Indications digestive impairment and indigestion and flatulence. For dosage for adults, one or two sachets, two to four times a day. Um, each five grams is prepared with a powder of the following. Oh, oh god, my TV's just started as well. Right. That creeped me out then. I think, I think that I had it on pause for so long that it stopped. Uh, they stopped being on pause, bloody new TiVo box. Okay, so it's it's got a load of stuff inside it. Who knows what it is? But it says it's for indigestion and things. And it feels really soft, like it's got jelly inside or something. It's got some kind of weird orange stuff. Ugh. That tastes like swimming baths. Ah, that's horrible. <coughs> that tastes like mango chutney. It's but really salty. It's like salty and like a pickle or something. I was for some reason I was expecting it to taste like fruit roll ups or something, but it just tastes like Yeah, it tastes like a, a savoury dish. It's like sweet and savoury at the same time. Uh, let's try a bit more. 
and it tastes of medicine as well. It's got like a medical sort of antiseptic taste to it as well. Well, there's something wrong tasting about that. But it's kind of addictive as well. <laughs> Horrible, I keep eating it. <coughs> but if it cures your indigestion, then the uh, bonus. Um, it's, it's not that bad actually. Just a weird, just tastes very something wrong about the taste. <coughs> I'm gonna have one of these. Uh, no, I'll have one of them at the end, the mouth fresheners. Let's try this. <coughs> so we've got some Indian pickle here. The most authentic Andhra style pickle is made from selected special chilies and all premium spices. Lures your and all premium spices lures your tongue every day. Lures your tongue. <laughs> it's got tam tamarind in there. I like tamarind things. Mustard, dried red chilies, red chilies, curry leaves, and asphodida. I don't know what that is. Hyderabad. Okay, cool. Let's have a go. Tempting taste made naturally. Feels like it's really like sloshing around in there, so I don't wanna. I don't know what I'm gonna do once it's open, like, I'm gonna s store it. Probably have to put it in the fridge. Ah, oh, there's a bag within the bag. But you can smell it. There's a bag within the bag, but inside the bag, it looks like it's come out of the inside bag, so. Yeah, I can t I think I can tell what this is gonna taste like just from the smell. It's, um, it smells like. The pickle you get with poppadoms in a China, in a in a Indian restaurant. Went to the Chinese restaurant then. Oh yeah, it smells good though. Okay. <laughs> I suppose it doesn't look appetising when I put it on a spoon like that, but... Yeah. Oh, that's spicy. Ah, oh, that is nice, nicely spicy. Oh. Yeah, it tastes like the pickles you get in an Indian restaurant, which to me always tastes like really spicy. Not like um, not like pickles, English pickles are like vinegary tasting. Whereas these taste more really like salt, like they're preserved in salt. I don't know if that's how they're made, but it, that's how it always tastes to me. Um, really strong tasting. Um, let's see what the ingredients are. Iodized salt. Unlike the tamarind and the mustard and stuff, it can't taste it on its own cumin. Like it all just combines together in with the spice, with the super spicy taste, and it's uh, kind of just creates its own flavour. It's nice. There's another one here. Is it the same product? The same brand? Yeah, it's the same brand, but it's a uh, Gongura pickle. I don't know what that is. Gongura leaves. Hmm. Who knows? I'm gonna put my scissors. Okay, let's have a go. Oh, this one's new, apparently. Oh, that chili is spicy. I like spicy food though, so... Okay, so it's brown this time. 
It looks more like brown sauce. Okay, this one's got like thick, more of a thick consistency. I mean, obviously you're supposed to eat them with something, not just eat them on their own like this. But um, I'm just doing it to see what they taste like. Again, really salty tasting. I think you can taste the tamarind in there more because the taste reminds me of the tamarind sweets. And I don't know what gongura tastes like, but um, that tastes pretty nice. Still spicy as well. Still got a spicy kick, but more of a delayed spice. Nice. I prefer the red chilli one though, no. that one's better, but both of them are tasty. Okay, I think that's it now, I've got one more thing to show. This is um, curd chilli, which I had to look up. Um, Mr Check It Out told me about them in the comments, so then I went and googled it, and apparently it's just a normal green... <coughs> Oh, some of that spice came back to haunt me there. I'll have a drink. <clears throat> it's a normal green chilli, but it's soaked in salt, salt water and curd. Curd, I don't know, I think. I've only ever heard it in the Little Miss Muffet nursery rhyme, apart from lemon curd, which I think is a different thing. But um, apparently that's why it's soaked in curds and salt water and then dried and I suppose that's a way of preserving it or something they smell like nothing like like a wet dog or something they don't smell nice but um, yeah, what you do is you, you fry them and that bing brings out the flavours and when you fry them they look like this so here's one I prepared earlier they turn brown again or black. I don't know if that's been fried enough because apparently they turn black, but that looks that looks kind of black to me. Let's try one out anyway. I don't know if I fried it too much. I might could have done, but um, um, they're really salty and crispy, they taste like a crisp or like the texture is like a crisp or something like a what's it like a like a, a soft crisp soft crisp you know what I mean like a crisp like a like a wheat crisp so it's kind of not too hard yeah they're pretty interesting oh. Oh, got me on the throat there. <laughs> it's not super spicy though. It's not like blow your head off. Some people it might be, but maybe it is. It's got a bit of a delayed hit again. It's coming to hit. it's coming to get me now. This heat. Yeah, built up in your mouth. But it. I don't know if this is how it's meant to taste. It tastes a little bit burnt. Like maybe I fried it too long, but it, I wasn't really sure if I was making it right. But that could just be the way it tastes. Like it tastes really dry, like it's been fried too much. But um, other than that, it's a, a nice taste. It's like a, a ro deep roasted sort of, um, like a different way to taste chilies. I don't know. And the saltiness tastes nice as well. Oh yeah, it's spicy. When you first bite it, the salt sort of overrides the heat. You don't realise until you swallowed it and suddenly your mouth's on fire. Ah. Nice. Good job I liked spicy food.
maybe maybe to Indian people that's not spicy at all because I think their food's a lot more spicy than ours is. I don't know. <coughs> I mean, most of our spicy food is Indian food, so let's try these anyway. The mouth freshener, I like the pink lid on there. Refresh Hajo, Refresh Hojo, Shahi Mix. Yeah, I've had this. I've had this before in Indian restaurants. They bring it at the end of your meal. Oh, my mouth's watering from the spice. Pizzle. What was I like dizzle? I thought it said pizzle, which um, a pizzle is a a horse's penis, I think. Right. Typical sort of thing. I don't know what all the pieces are. Sugar pill, sugar coated fennel seeds. Oh, dry date, that's what that is. There's dry date in there. Areca nuts, aniseed, sugar. Alright, let's have a go. Oh. That tastes different to the stuff I've had over here. The um, it tastes like yeah, the menthol is the menthol and aniseed is a lot, a lot stronger than when I've had it here. It could just be the, the this particular flavour. Nice though, and yeah, it makes my mouth feel fresh all of a sudden after them chilies and things. It tastes like that mouthwash you used to get. Remember there used to be a mouthwash where they used to advertise it as if you'd wash your mouth out and then you'd spit and then you'd look at your spit and see all the bits that had taken out your mouth. For some reason that was a thing for a while, mouthwash, that you used to look at. You, it made you look at your own spit. Anyway, it tastes like that. That's what the flavour tastes like. I don't know whether that's fennel or something, but that that mouthwash used to make your mouth feel really fresh afterwards and it used to have a, a flavour to it, like, that's what it's like. Oh it's got silver in it, silver leaves. I can't see any. There's a few like little balls in there that have silver on them. So anyway that's the last thing I think. Um, oh no there's one more thing. The thing I was saving to last because it looks like my, the thing with candy on the front. Okay, a hundred and one hour and eight minutes we're going now. It's a marathon episode, all right. Barath, till rounds. I think they're pressed sesame seeds. I think you said. Best for March twenty sixteen. Okay. So Gandhi snacks. That's how we go. Weapons machinists, you said they look like raccoon turds. I don't have raccoons in this country, so I won't be able to say, but if they do, I'm taking your word for it. <laughs> Perhaps that's how they're made. Oh god, they're rock hard. Oh. What the hell's the black stuff? I don't even have ingredients. Oh. Liquid glow. Ingredients, liquid glucose. Till and jaggery, what the hell's that meant to me? Who knows? They're nice. Tastes very similar to the um, sesame seed thing, the, the pressed sesame seed thing, but more in a ball shape. Maybe more sugary because the, they seem to have more of the, the binding agent in it. Um, and it has that same sort of roasted, slightly burnt taste to them. And as a bonus, they look like raccoon poo. They're nice, and they've got a nice texture. I like them. Alright. I'm sorry about all the mouth noises and things in this video. 
I know how my camera picks them up and I'm just a noisy eater at the beginning of this and it's been going on far too long so if anyone has actually sat through the whole video I commend you you are a true hero the world needs more people like you thanks for watching goodbye